how to go live on all media platforms, including Instagram, all on one or matter of fact, two OBS streams. That's what I'm going to show y'all today. Let's get at it. What up, y'all? It's again, it's your boy, Darren. I'll join the S-Time Productions here with another tutorial video and something that uh, was kind of important to me because it was something that I was trying to do a lot of. As you guys know, I do a lot of live streaming videos and I was trying to figure out a solution a couple months back of how to basically put every social media accounts to let them know when I go live. Here's the first thing that I tried to do. So as you guys can tell, I like using OBS because OBS allows me to go on to multiple streaming platforms all at once. And I also have it set up to where I use Restream as my main base. And I put in a, I think one year subscription on my Facebook, my personal and my business account, uh, my SM Productions account, my YouTube and my Twitch currently. Uh, I had to pay extra just to use the business Facebook account to make this work, but it was very beneficial. If you guys know how to use Restream, it's pretty simple. Now, the thing that you guys want to kind of figure out at this point is, okay, I know how to get to Facebook. I know how to get to YouTube. I know how to get to Twitch. You get in a Restream account, you log into your existing uh, Facebook accounts, pay extra money for a monthly or yearly if you need to. And then once you're done with that, okay, now I'm all set up for this. Well, a lot of people are going on Instagram Live these days, right? Instagram Live is probably like bigger than most of the other live streams that we've seen out in the, out here, right? So how do we get to use Instagram Live? And what I also want to do is how do I go on all of these at once using one OBS stream? So this is how I kind of do it. What you want to kind of take a look at first is... I have a couple different sections, right? So there's a profile section on the top here. Uh, I can't show it because it's showing all those, but I have different sections for uh, different streams that I like to do. Then there's your scene selection, which kind of shows out the format, how to change, how you want the layout to look. I have one called IG live stream, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. First thing I wanna show you though, we need to go online and look for a website called getstreamon.com. Streamon is a application that allows you to use your credentials from Instagram and post stuff live. Download that. There's another spot called uh, Yellow Duck that does the same thing. I like using this one a little bit better because it allows me to kind of actively read comments. I won't have to look at another account to try to read or react to comments. The only thing I wouldn't be able to see, you won't be able to do like split screen to kind of, you know, have somebody live with you. There's another app for that, but it's very costly. So this is more of a free effective, but allows you to look at your comments. Uh, and the only thing you wouldn't be able to do is just go live with another person and see the active viewers that are on your account. This is for Windows, Mac and Linux, Mac users. Here's your opportunity to use this too. Once I'm done with that, this is your front page and this is what you'll see. Let's say I want to start a stream, but actually before I do that, I need to make a whole new layout of how I'm going to show Restream. First thing I need to do is open up another instance of OBS. Now, how do you exactly do you do that on this page? Actually pretty simple. What I'm gonna show you here on the bottom, uh, I'm gonna go and right click on OBS and click on OBS Studio again. So again, right click and then click on it. It's gonna say OBS is already running unless you meant to do this, shut down instances, this, that, and third. You wanna say launch anyway. Here's my second instance, all right? Now, what I need to do is to go to IG Live Profile, yes. Go to Screen Selection, yes, IG Live Stream. Forget about the second part here. This currently is your IG layout. How do you get to this IG layout? Go to Settings, Video, and you want to flip your orientation, all right? So aspect ratio is 916, so you need to type in 1080 by 1920, all right, on your base canvas resolution. So I'm gonna go 1080 X 1920, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. All right, now I'm gonna click apply. Now we gotta get to the stream part, how to get this all working, all right? So I'm gonna open up stream, get this ready, because this is where stream on comes in the, in the handy, all right? So I'm gonna open up my 
S Town Productions page. All right. So let's see. S Town Productions. Now my S Town Productions page is up on StreamOn. This is what you'll look at when you download StreamOn. It's going to ask you what are you streaming. I'm going to say test stream. I'm going to say start live stream. Now what it's going to give you is a stream URL and a stream key. Every time that you guys log into your log into StreamOn, it's going to give you a brand new stream key. The stream URL will stay the same, but you need to update your stream key every time you go in and do a new live video. Okay. So what I need to do is to go into here in the service section on the stream. I need to go to custom. Once I go into custom, I'm going to put in that server. Here's the RTMPS. Again, it's the same one that's on the one that to give you. If I need to check it, I just copy and paste. And now for the stream key, I go in, I copy the stream key, I paste the stream key. And before I do that, they're saying use authentication. I think it's always safe for me to do this because it just works more effectively that way. So I will have to put in my same password and uh, username that I usually do. Apply, use the stream, press OK. Now, now that I have this all set up, I have the audio still set up in my same configuration that I do for my other streams. So this is still on and my regular one is still active. OK. So here's my face and I can go on to my other one. You'll see the completely exact same thing, but the orientation is going to be different. So in order for me to do this, all I have to do now is go into my first stream, my main stream now, right? This is the stream that I'm that's horizontal. I'm just going to flip the orientation over. So all I have to do is go into here. Now you get you guys get to see it on this section here. Now the orientation's flipped. The orientation's flipped now. So I'm going to go into OBS. It's going to ask for a device. I'm going to say OBS virtual camera. I'm going to say OK. And then I need to start the original one from the main stream. That's how I'm able to open up and look at the one for Instagram. After I do that, I'm going to say start streaming and then it's going to stream on and say go live. So those of you guys will that are on, you're going to see uh, my live version of Instagram. Instagram can actively see me right now on my S on Productions page. How do I know that? I'm gonna to go to my personal page. I can see on my icon right here, it says S10 Productions. I'm gonna click on it and boom, there I am. So there's there's my orientation to me live, showing the exact same thing. Make sure you got a computer that's compa uh, that uh, has enough power to kind of run this. Because remember, you're running multiple streams. So imagine if I actually had Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch turned on along with this. I got enough horsepower and network capacity to actually make it work. So I'm gonna say, what's up? And I'm gonna open this up and I want you guys to take a look. So there's me, right? What's up? What's good? So here's another one that should come out much. Just chilling. And it will respond as you. There's me, that's the conversation that we're having. So it's very effective for when you guys don't want to do multiple streams, get multiple cameras, have multiple devices. So I can have the same, close to the same audio quality, the same video quality as I would with my regular Facebook and YouTube and Twitch, regular horizontal live streams and put it on Instagram. So a couple of suggestions that I want you guys to take a look at. Number one, there's a couple of things you want to take prior to taking into consideration. Remember, if you have a lot of people on your stream, you're going to have a lot of comments. So what I like to do is say space at the bottom of streams. I and those that are on the stream can see the comments and I try to leave space right under where my my name is and then scale your stream to the to the right resolution. Now you can do this one or two ways. What I used to do was I used to orientate this vertically. That way when people were looking like this, they could see it horizontally. But um, I like to flip it over so they can get a full scale view so they can see a lot, of, a lot of other things. Remember, I have a lot of details into my streams what I have on other spots like Facebook and YouTube. So there might be things like banners I need to put up, stuff that I'm editing that I want people to kind of pay, have like a close view to see. So I like to flip the orientation in. So at the end of every video, once I'm done with it, I can say stop streaming. And I can go here and this used to say stop streaming. You can stop the stream. The stream is be over. Your stream does not get saved. You still will have live and people can 
respond and have comments over there once i'm done i can exit out and i can go still go to stream on oop, instagram which is called instagram live streamer and then change the stream on i can go back up again and then your last uh, credentials is still saved in here a pretty simple and effective workflow that's pretty much it links in the description so all the stuff i explained to you down below any comments questions or concerns leave in the comment section below please like and subscribe turn on post notifications when you know for every time i post up a new video again it's your boy down on jordan s time productions hope this helped y'all out hope to see y'all soon peace out Oh, <music>